Hello, my name is Randy, and today we're going to talk about navigating the new AutoVibe monitor by Minic Manufacturing. So we have the main screen here, it's all touchscreen. So what we have here on this monitor right now is just some demo software to kind of tell you and show you what the actual monitor will look like in operations. And uh, let's just go over some of the items on the face of the screen here. The 8300, the numbers across the top in the box, is the actual vibrations per minute readout of the vibrator. The arrows on the left hand side is your low and high alarm vibrations, which can be set individually or all globally all at once. Uh, this system is set up for a 48 vibe system, so you can see vibrators 1 through 24. If we want to see 25 through 48, we just touch that in the center of the screen and it switched it from 25 to 48. And uh, this will be set at the factory before we send them out of how many vibrator system you have. So if I push that again, it goes back from 1 through 24. Uh, another thing we have on the main screen here is we have the date and the time and how we are recording data. Right now we have it set up to record by distance and uh, Minig will also set that at the factory before we ship the unit out. You can also turn in the logging data on and off here on the main screen. If I press that, it goes green to log on. If I press it again, it goes to log off. That means it's not recording any data at this present time. If you have the temperature and relative humidity sensor on here, it'll also record that or display that on the main screen. 72 degrees and 61% humidity. Uh, some of the other features we have on this screen is we can, uh, from the main screen, we can set the station location. So I just push that button. I open it up and then we can enter a location. Let's just say it's uh, A, B, C, and then maybe some numbers, three, four, five. And then if I enter that, that'll be on there. And then when it logs data, it will log that station location for you right there. So we go back to there, and then that shows up in the bottom of the screen where it says station location. It also gives you a real-time readout of how many feet per minute your, your uh, speed wheel is rotating and telling you when the paver is moving forward. And, uh, and then it also tells you how many feet per minute, or how many feet you're actually traveling, not per minute, how many feet you're traveling. And that is resettable on here. And then it'll start logging again. And then we also have a pause. We can pause it. If we are like the paver is backing up or moving to a different spot on the job site. Well, another thing you can do on the main screen is if I want to uh, say we have a 24 vibrator system and I'm not using vibrators 20 through 21, I clicked on vibrator 20. I can turn it off. And then that, log, that ignores that vibrator, and you'll get that little alarm. So if I close that, that vibrator is ignored. It will not collect data. And if I want to go back in and turn it back on, it's back on. Really simple, straightforward. So that's just the main functions of the, the screen there that's uh, really nice and user-friendly. So let's go into a few setup options on this uh, monitoring system. So we're going to press the setup button, and then we're going to do the machine type, which will be done at Minic. So if you're buying a 24 vibrator system, this will already be pre-programmed. So we'll go in here, and we'll highlight 24, and we'll go back, and now it's a 24 vibrator system only. This will be set up at Minic before it gets sent out to you. Another thing that will be set up at Minic is the actual serial number of this system. We will enter that information and that will be there for future references for age and uh, warranty and items like that. Uh, we have the temperature and humidity reading option on this system. So if we don't have that, we will preset that at Minic and we'll just highlight the no and then that is no. Now on there, so there's no temperature and humidity reading. Uh, down here on U.S. and metric selection, we have two types. We can do U.S. or we can do metric measurements. 
So I put it on metric, it was US. We will set that at the factory two before it's sent out. Uh, the next one down is display screen info. And the, really the only one you're going to probably use that one for is preferences to where you can go in and change the back lid of the screen. If you get out in the sun, you might need to change that a little bit. The screen saver, I would not probably change that. that would, I would just leave that off. Pretty much nothing else on this page, except you can set the date and time if it is wrong. And the language, we can do this in several different languages, English. Another feature we have on this monitoring system is vibrator alarm settings. It'll default at a high alarm of 9,000 and a low alarm of 4,000. And I can actually turn the alarms on or off. And if I want to change the lower limit, just highlight that, my minus symbol, take it down to, let's just say 3,500, and press my check mark. And that is my new low setting. If I want to change the high setting to lower or higher, just press or the high key and then I'll put it at 9600. And then that is our high and low limit settings on our vibrator alarm ranges. Uh, the sensor millivolt adjustment is a factory setting that it has to be done by us on the data log setup icon, we can go in there and it's telling us we have a travel speed sensor and we also can change by how we want to collect the data. So if we click on that, we can record by time, record by distance, or record by whatever occurs first, and that's time and or distance. Whatever happens first is how to record that information. So if you don't have the speed wheel, you will only be able to record by time. So if we record by time, and then we can also change the record by time setting. If we want to, that's 15 minutes, we can make it less. We can set it for five minutes. We want to increase that back to 20 minutes. And just hit our check mark and then it's at 20 minutes. So that is how we can do it if we want to record by time, distance, or whatever occurs first. So if we have a speed wheel, if our, if our uh, DOT spec says we have, need a speed wheel and we need to record by time, we'll want to enter that and we're recording by whatever occurs first, which right now it is 20 minutes and I got it on metric, so it's still 20 meters. The other option you have on this page is you can clear all log data. So if you press that, it will give you an option. Would you like to clear the data logs? It is not reversible, so if you clear that before you send any data to an email on a spreadsheet, that data will be gone. So this is not reversible. Do I want to clear it now? No. So all the data is still in there. Our last icon we have in our setup page is service contacts. And if you click on that, it'll uh, give you the information who you can talk to, a phone number, two email addresses for any information or questions you might have on this system close that out. Okay, so to, to uh, transfer data from the monitor to your PC or laptop or whatever, you will need to download the IQ CAN app, Sync app, and on your phone. And once you get that downloaded, you're going to open it up, and then you're going to click on Get Log from Machine. And then it's searching for the Bluetooth app adapter. It found it. So then we need to connect. Just press OK on that. And then there's the, uh, the logged information in the monitor. So you want to highlight that. And then I always mail it. So I click on Mail. It's downloading the data in the monitor. And then once it's downloaded, you type in the address who you want to send it to. And press Send. And it's going. I can do that. I can put my email in here like that. Press the send button. And that email has been sent to my email address. 
All right, so after you have emailed the downloaded information to a desired email, open the email, save the attachment as a document, save it, and then open up the Minic web page, click on vibrators, scroll down and click on vibrator monitoring. AVCC2, open that up, go down to download log converter, open that up. And then click on enable editing. Click on enable content. And then click on the box that has the import data. And then take your download data, your save data, put it in the file name, click open. And then it uh, makes you a nice spreadsheet, easy to read out of what your downloaded data is. And it records the date, time, distance traveled, relative humidity if you have that option, uh, temperature if you have that option, and then all your vibrator speeds. This was a 48 vibe system, so it recorded vibrators 1 through 48. It's a nice, easy to read spreadsheet, very user friendly. Thank you for watching today. It's a pretty straightforward and user friendly system. If you have any questions, please contact Minic Manufacturing. Thank you.